everybody, it's Pandy and I'm playing World of Tanks. This video is about the Stug 3, or quote unquote in German, but not German, Assault Gun 3. And I tried to learn how to pronounce the actual name of it, but I failed. Now a little bit about this tank. Originating from experiences based during World War I, when it was found that during offensives on the Western Front when infantry made their attacks, they lacked the means of engaging heavily fortified positions. At the time, artillery was too heavy and not mobile enough to keep up with the infantry, while the infantry was, you know, pretty much needed some firepower to take out bunkers and pillboxes. In 1936, development began on a design for an assault artillery type unit to provide direct fire for infantry divisions capable of mounting a 75 millimeter artillery round and also firing it with direct accuracy. DB used a chassis and running gears that they've recently used and designed in the Panzer III medium tank. They used the Panzer III Aus B as its base for these assault gun prototypes and it featured a mild steel superstructure with a short barreled 75 millimeter. This newly developed self-propelled artillery was not initially clear on who was going to use it within the German military, or the German army to be more direct, but it was agreed after some discussions between the panzer and infantry arms that it would be best employed with the artillery army. These units were organized into battalions and used their own doctrine and tactics. They would attach themselves to infantry units to provide direct fire as it was intended, and then later there was a strong emphasis on destroying enemy armor. After the Germans ran into the KV-1s and the T-34s, there was a big push to upgrade all the existing Stug 3s with the high velocity 75mm, and later it filled the role as a tank destroyer. Sometime during the late 1943 or early 1944, the Stug 4 entered into production, even though production never ceased on the Stug 3. This would later make the vehicle as the most produced armored fighting vehicle that the German armed forces deployed during World War II. The Stug 3 success was not widely known, but out of all the armored fighting vehicles in service with Germany, the Stug 3s and 4s account for the most tank kills during its five year service. And so successful, it was even kept in service till the Six Days War, where it wasn't so successful. At that point, it was pretty much done. In World of Tanks, the Stug 3 compared to the Su-85 has its pros and cons. The Stug 3 is extremely mobile since it's based off of the Panzer 3's chassis. I do like it when you are able to haul ass away from the enemy and set up into a new position fairly quickly. Its turning rate is extremely capable of engaging multiple enemies quickly and readily. This is most definitely better than the Su-85. The main gun on the Stug 3 is very capable of engaging tier 6 and even tier 7 medium tanks and the tank destroyers. After playing the Su-85, the 75mm long barrel main cannon was somewhat disappointed. Its high rate of fire is very commendable, but it didn't really have that oomph for that punch that it, you know, the Su-85 has. It is a lot more accurate, faster, but it doesn't really come with that big ass damage that the Su-85 has with the 107. With the 107, you can two shot some KV. So, I mean, it, it does handle itself fairly well, and you can pretty much, you know, fuck up some tier 3s and 4s. But in my opinion, the Su-85's main gun was better. Now, the armor and hit points to this tank is very similar to the Su-85. You can easily get one-shotted by Lowe's and other tanks that manage to do more than 350 damage. I've bounced my fair share of tier 2 guns from time to time, but most shells will find their way into the little squishy center of mine. This is very comparable to the Su-85, and I would say the Su-85 and the Stug 3 are the same in regards to armor and hit points. And overall, I did like the Stoop 3 particularly well. It had a good, nice high rate of fire, um, semi-decent penetration, low damage. That's the only bad thing I can think of. Just like the Su-85, it can get one-shotted fairly easily and doesn't really have the best armor. Big thing about this tank that it makes it better in some fashion is that it is really quick. It's fast. You can go from A to B really quickly. It moves like a medium tank. It, it pretty much zooms and it has a decent engine and it just it's a I would say I had a good time in it I was just disappointed it, it's a it's a decent tank destroyer and it's a good tier 5 engager when it comes to just whipping ass and taking names I want to thank everyone for watching if you like what I did here please like the video this was Pandy and to everyone out there good hunting